So good morning again. Welcome back to Edu Skills. OE Remed AC. Our mission is to make you fall in love with OE. And today we have writing segment, a letter to an emergency department. This is from OET official samples. Thank you OET for allowing me to use this for a teaching purpose. And if you're watching this on YouTube, kindly consider subscribing to the channel. Give us a thumbs up if you like our work and please do share to your contacts so that we reach out to maximum OET aspirants, especially those who are financially struggling to crack OET. Ultimately, we have to fall in love with the whole process. That's the best way to regain competency. So what we are teaching here at Edu Skills, it's not just to get a B grade or A grade in your OET. We are preparing you for your workplace. We, we are preparing for your future profession and we are preparing for your life. So English is for life. Today, we will be going through almost 27 steps in writing but we'll be taking up certain steps. So all steps may not be applicable for all the letters, but at least 21 steps are applicable for all the steps. So OET 2.0 Occupational English Test, Subtest Writing. Today we have a letter to Emergency Department, Writing Key Skills and OET Step-by-Step. Step. OET Writing Step-by-Step, step, identify the key issues. As we said, uh, highlight the keywords or synonyms or reference, whatever happens in the case note we'll be taking the case note and we'll be just doing it ourselves practically we'll be doing it today already we have done with the certain types of letters for example with multiple issues jay thompson we have done and also we have done marthis bampton with a single issue today to the, the emergency department referral letter second point identify the relevant semi-relevant and irrelevant case notes once you have ident uh, highlighted the key issues and the synonyms and synonymous or reference on the concerned medications you know, all those are relevant case notes. And there will be semi-relevant and irrelevant case notes. As you have done this with this first step, you know, whatever you have highlighted is the relevant case notes. So then you can definitely bracket the irrelevant as well as semi-relevant. If you need to include semi-relevant at this second, you will consider. And you know, the third step, transform each case note into a simple sentence. Transform each case note into a simple sentence that you have done already, we'll be checking it again. And then fourth step is check with Grammarly. Check with Grammarly free and we have taught you and there is a video about how to check with Grammarly. Please follow those videos. And fifth one, transform simple sentences into compound sentences. It doesn't mean you have to transform all the sentences. You will be transforming the case notes, only the relevant case notes into simple sentences and out of which you need to connect. For example, diabetes is mentioned and your medication for diabetes is mentioned under the medication. Maybe diabetes is mentioned in the medical history and under the side heading medications, uh, certain medication, for example, metformin is mentioned. So there are two sentences now, simple sentences, which you can club and make a compound sentence. Uh, his or her diabetes is well managed or managed with metformin, dash, dash, whatever the MG and all those things, okay? So whatever you need to, you can transform them into connected things. You can transform those sentences into compound sentences. Again, you will check with Grammarly. Okay, free Grammarly. Paste them in check, uh, free Grammarly page and get the corrections. And I have explained to you in detail earlier. Seven, transform simple sentences and compound sentences into complex sentences. This is not a big issue. You do not uh, need not transform all the case notes. Maximum you require is two or three complex sentences. If you have two or maximum three complex sentences in your case and you know, in your letter, that will be fine for you. So whatever you need to, you can just transform, which I'll be, these steps I'll be showing you today with our uh, Patricia stylist case notes. Then after that, just check those complex sentences with Grammarly. And next step, write a story, speak out of the, uh, about the patient, story of the patient. Just write as if you are handing over the duty to other nurse, your colleagues, you know, you explain the details or you give them the notes. So write out a story or even speak out with your learning partner. Why, who is the patient? What happened? What's happening? What medications have been uh, given and what is to be continued? All those things in a, as a story, try to write or even speak out or do both. So that will be a practice for speaking fluency as well. After that, paste, if you have written a story of the patient where, based on the case note given to you, check with Grammarly again. Okay, it is free Grammarly. Just check with free Grammarly and write down your corrections. 
Then the seventh, eleventh step is segregate the case notes sentences based on the key issues. If there are multiple issues, this stage is particular. For example, in Jake Thompson's, we had three issues to be considered: the major issue, then the secondary, and the third. So where you have such multiple issues, which you do not, we don't have in today's case note, we have a single issue. If there are multiple issues, segregate the sentences based on the key issues. And 12th one, arrange the sentences or points according to sequence. Now you have segregated a particular uh, main issue, for example, uh, mobility issue after a knee replacement surgery. You know, whatever is concerned with mobility and the synonyms, you have underlined and highlighted, you have brought them together, all those sentences. Now you have to arrange them in a sequence. In an order, you know, it starts with uh, the complaints or the symptoms, then you have the uh, investigations, then you have the results, then you have the medication, then you have the management, then you have follow up care. In this sequence, you will have to, whatever, in a connection, you will have to develop the paragraph and write the different paragraphs. Then you start writing different paragraphs as you have the sentences already, you have to connect them with, you know, introductory phrases, sequential linkers, connective words, all those things. Then, you know, when you write a paragraph, there are two approaches, which I'll be teaching you today. One is chronological. You can order your paragraphs, which comes first, which, which should be the first paragraph, you know, that is purpose paragraph, introductory paragraph. Then you have to go on to the second paragraph, third paragraph, fourth paragraph, fifth paragraph, whichever the, the number of, there is no restriction in OET. You should write only this many paragraphs. It's all left to you. So you see that one paragraph contains one concept or one time frame. So if you are writing, ordering your paragraph, for which I'll be giving examples, chronologically, you will be taking going date by date. Okay, major dates will be considered and one, one paragraph will include only one time framework. And second one is thematic or issue based. As I said, if you have many issues, one or two or three issues, you will be uh, sequencing your paragraph, ordering your paragraph as per the issues. The main issue will come first then the secondary issue, then third issue. So it will be based on a theme or a issue. Each paragraph will have a theme. Either you can follow chronological or thematic. Today I'll be showing you both, how you can club even both. Uh, definitely you okay, have to give the date and data where even when you write issue-based paragraphs. Okay, then you know, you have to include introductory phrases, connective words, sequential words, and whatever you need to have cohesion in your paragraph means relationship between Sentences. Sentences should be logically connected. And you know, uh, next 14 step is start writing the letter in the writing format. Then you have the address, date, solution, ray line. Then you have introductory or purpose paragraph, body paragraph. Then you have the request. Then you have sign off. Then the last step is mistakes to be avoided in OET writing. This will be the. These are the stages that we are looking into. Though there are only 15 numbers, there are 27 segments here. But we will be dealing with around 20 to 21 segments today, as uh, depending on the time available. And if you need to grab a cup of tea or coffee or some snacks or some water bottle, please keep with you. Okay, sixth one is self-correction of the OET letter. We will be telling you how to correct your own letter without even the assistance of your teacher. Maybe you'll be able to do it with around 95% of perfection, maybe much more, more greater than most of the teachers in the field today. You'll be able to correct your letter by yourself. You know, as soon as you get a case note, if there are beginners or two or three sentences for you, what you have to do very beginning, you have to read notes, the notes segment. There are first few lines, one a date will be given there, today's date. Then who are you? You are a nurse conducting a nurse home visit. This is what you require in the beginning. Immediately after that, you should go to the writing task. Now they say using the information in the case note, write a letter of referral. Okay. So you are supposed to write a referral letter to That's emergency something. department. Then you have the address and details. Outlining, what are you supposed to do? Outline the case and requesting urgent assessment and management for pericarditis. Now, next step, what you have to do in your practice is to adopt the first method here. If you don't know what is pericarditis, go and Google and find out. For example, I have done it here. See pericarditis, what it is. Okay, what are the symptoms? I just took it from Google. Maybe as health professionals, you might know it by yourself. At least bring to your mind what is pericarditis and how the patient looks, what are the problems they have. You can visualize. That is the best method 
try to visualize a patient with this issue. And what is your next business? Next step is you have to yes. identify the key issue. Now, uh, here, uh, key issue is already mentioned. What is the key issue? The pericarditis. Oh, yeah. yeah. Pericarditis is the pre issue. Now, could you just identify these words? We'll go from here. Can you identify some words here in this case? No. Relapse and complications Please. of pericarditis. Uh, relapse Suspected. complications of pericarditis. So you have the word here. Then somewhere. Suspe evaluation there is a viral influenza type B plus pericarditis. Okay, again, there is one pericarditis here. Good. Then echocardiogram pericarditis. Okay, oh, cardiogram indicated pericarditis. You can even look into your hard copy if you have. Try to circle or underline or highlight these words. Okay, at least four you have here. See, even yes. when there is multiple issue to identify, for example, uh, sometimes they give a diagnosis here in the beginning. Okay, they might give you a diagnosis somewhere here. Don't be misled by the diagnosis. You are supposed to deal with the key issue on which you are supposed to ask follow up care with a particular person. So if you have a confusion, just look into the repeated, repeated mm -hmm. issue, which is repeated. Now here you have this same word repeated four times, right? So that is the yes. issue and it's already mentioned. There is no confusion as regards the issue here. In the case note, now we will just look into the aspects which are relevant. Maybe whatever is connected with pericarditis. We'll take the last page, final page. Can you just tell me what is connected with? Now, you know, this, these details are connected with pericarditis because you have already highlighted it, right? Relapse complications. What else is connected with pericarditis? You know, what are the symptoms? As already I said, chest pain, fatigue of general feeling of weakness or being sick, leg swelling, low grade fever, pounding of racing heartbeat, I'll be palpitations, shortness of breath when lying down, and also connected medications. If you can identify, just tell me what is important. Under observations, do you have anything important? Feeling just right and yeah, signs. Feeling. Yeah, reports. Feeling yeah, just reports. Right yeah. Right. yeah, yeah, yes, so one by one. Yeah, shortness of breath. Mm -hmm. All these are the okay, these are the symptoms mm -hmm. or complaints. Yeah. Complaints yeah. of the patient, which is important. Vital yeah. signs, like the fever. Vital no signs, of okay. fever. Yes, Indeed. these things are these things, things are required. Yeah. Peer evaluation, you know, viral influenza type B yes. plus doses that is required. Then yes. here in this 25th August, a patient discharged. Yes. Then follow up nurse visit. Yes. 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 Whether he drove at home or when he, he was riding the bike, it's not material for us, right? Yes. Let him go anyway. Okay. Now here, assessment. Do you require something? Yes. Throat swab. Throat swab. Throat swab. Okay. Viral influence shall be. Yes. Chest X-ray normal. Echocardiogram. Yes, echocardiogram. These are the investigations. Yeah, these are the investigations and management also is required, right? How did yes. they manage? Now here, patient admitted in Valley Hospital with the fever, all this. See, what were the complaints or the vital signs or the symptoms or the program problems the patient faced when he was admitted in the hospital? Anything else in this? The lab result, it's uh, all... Uh... Yeah, or elevated. CR, CRP Infection, yeah. Yeah, or elevated. Yes, uh, do, we, CR. Do, do we have a repetition of the same? You can, no. you can, no. you can. We'll keep it as, uh, okay, we'll keep it as in a different color as semi relevant. Okay, let's see. We'll decide whether it's relevant or semi relevant. Let's come back to this one medical history, medications. Medi medications. Yes, Before that, we'll come here. Medication. Medical history, medical history. Yeah, hypertension, 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 diabetes, diabetes, and depression. Yeah. Okay. And depression. It is, it is and depression. Well managed. Well managed. What does it say? Well managed, which means these things. These things are not required. Well managed means we don't require the details. Okay. Yeah. Then you have diabetes mellitus. Again, have, yeah, but then it is again says well managed. Well managed means you don't require further details of these things. Yes. It's already managed, well managed. So that becomes outdated information. Yes. Depression. 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 Do we require depression? 
we can yes for the semi relevant semi relevant we can keep yeah, I kept it. I kept it. Yeah, I kept it as semi relevant. Yes, medical history. Do we require mother lifestyle? No, no father. Exercise. Family, no, no. No. Medication. No. Medication. Yes, you need medication. Yes, yes. Medication yes. needed. So that is it. Now you know this is the first step. Here you know you need patient details, right? Yes. Name is required. Age yes. and date both are required because i always suggest if they have given both if in the ray line always write the date of birth in the ray line always write date. dob date, date of, of birth. birth and if you want to mention in your age if you want to mention at your in your introductory paragraph see that you write age not the date of birth if only age is given you can write age okay when both are given i suggest and if the date of birth is given, never try to calculate the age. Okay, just write the date of birth. Don't calculate the age. Okay, and address is not required, right? Yes. Yes. Normally, the address is uh, patient's address is not required at all. And social background? Mm -hmm. It's not, ne not necessary. Just not necessary. necessary yeah, you can um, take it as semi relevant if you want to say this may be important because she is a widow. Husband. She is yeah. yeah, husband or husband. And lives her on her own. Maybe somewhere you'll have to mention she is alone. Cool. That is we have kept as semi relevant. Is that clear? Yes. Yes, father. So you see, it's easy to find out. This is the easiest way to identify the relevant case notes. What is the key issue, and what are the connected, related, uh, the the case notes with the texture, smile, Body. smell, and fragrance, and color, taste of this particular. Issue means the medications and situations, vital signs, med all those things are relevant. So there is no issue, there is no confusion to identify what are the case notes, relevant or irrelevant or semi-relevant. That is the first step that we have. We have identified the key issues. Actually, we have one step less here because key issue is given in the writing task. Clearly, it is mentioned here, outlining, outlining the case note a case and requesting urgent assessment and management for pericarditis. <laughs> Sometimes it may not be clearly given what is the main issue. So you go into these synonyms, synonymous expressions, then you know this is the issue. Looking at the maybe looking at a prescription, you will say this patient has this problem, right? No one need to tell you. As health professional, you know, looking at the prescription medications, you will say maybe metformin is with card, you know, the person is having diabetes. Mm -hmm. So that's how you practically visualize the patient and look into the case notes and identify what is required. As for health professionals, you don't require much uh, competency for this, but then people don't have a focus how to identify that. You just try to go from the beginning and find out everything, what is relevant, what is not relevant. If actually, you cannot do that. So you should have a focus, what are you looking for? That tells you what is relevant. So let me close this particular step. Now, same thing, just to show you, I have highlighted this way, whatever is required. The rest of the things I have striked out. Whatever I have highlighted with black background, that is the required things. Okay, same thing, what we have done practically and just showing you so that once again, it fixes in your mind. Okay. Yes. Cool. That is the first step. So let me go to the second step. Transforming case notes into simple, okay. simple sentences. Now, you see, I have tried to convert these case notes, relevant case notes, into sentences. For example, assume that today's date is 30th August 2019. Today's date is 30 August 2019. Here, I have written, I am a nurse conducting a nurse home visit. You are a nurse conducting a nurse home visit. I have written here, I am a nurse conducting a nurse home visit. The patient is recently discharged from the hospital. Patient's recent hospital discharge. I converted those things into simple sentences. If you are competent, you need not do these steps. Uh, but then if you have enough time to gain competency and clarity, always it is beneficial to do. Okay. That's why again, repeatedly, I do these things personally and show you. So it's not a waste of time. Always it gives you clarity. And definitely if you go with these steps from the very beginning, there is no issue in getting an A grade in writing. See, patient details, Miss Patricia Stylus. Now I have written the patient's name is Miss Patricia Stylus. 
and DOB, 27 April 1957, age 62. Mr. Patricia Stylus' date of birth is 27 April 1957. Next, Mr. Patricia Stylus is 20, 62 years old. Okay. Or if you put it as 62, hyphen, year, hyphen, old. Whatever you want to write. Okay. Social background. Retired primary school teacher. Ms. Pat uh, Patricia Stylus is a retired primary school teacher. Then lives on her own. Mr. Patricia Stylus lives alone. And husband died three years ago. Mr. Pilus, uh, Patricia Stylus is a widow. That's how we can transform into simple sentences. Do, we, do, we, do I need to go in detail about this or you will understand? You can understand. Okay. Yeah, yeah, if you want. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, if you want, you can read. If someone wants to read, you can just go on reading only this background highlighted, black highlighted sentences. Miss Patricia Stiles has hypertension. Miss Patricia Stiles' hypertension is well managed. Miss Patricia Stiles has type 2 diabetes mellitus. Miss Patricia Stiles' diabetes is well managed. Miss Patricia Stiles has depression. Miss Patricia Stiles is a pres a prescribed quinapril, acupril oral, 40 mg twice daily. Miss Patricia Stiles is prescribed metformin, diabetes oral, 500 mg twice daily. Miss Patricia Stiles is prescribed glycoside, uh, apio glycoside MR, oral, 30 mg daily. Miss Stiles Became, became unwell on 23rd August while visiting her sister in Green Valley. So you, when you repeat, you can also just uh, omit the first name and address with the second name or also you can use pronoun she. Okay? Okay. School. Yeah. She was yes. admitted to Green Valley Hospital with fever, pleuritic chest pain, tachycardia and general malaise. Throat swab investigations confirmed viral influenza type B. Her chest x-ray was normal and echocardiogram indicated pericarditis. Ms. Stiles has treated with IV saline infusion and ibuprofen. She was discharged home on 25th August. A nurse home visit was arranged for today. Ms. Stiles reports Feeling chest pain relieved by sitting up, shortness of breath, and fatigue. She has a low grade fever, 38.1 degree, tachypnea, 28 breaths per minute, and tachycardia, 115 breaths per minute. Her blood pressure is 125 by 78, lower than her usual BP, 140 90. I yes. suspect a relapse of pericarditis. Okay, that's it. cool. Okay. Yeah, that's it. So, you know, just I have done it so that you do it. Okay? That gives you a clarity and competency happens only this way. Just straight away, if you start writing your letter, it's very hard and takes a long time. And you will not have that clarity. Whenever the, whatever the case note happens, you know how to identify the issue, how to identify the relevant case notes. It will be crystal clear. Otherwise, you know, you will, you will always be in a confusion, what case note will come and how will I organize? And there are so few. Some people say this is like they said two pages, full case note. I got in my exam this way. Oh, I was totally confused. Two full pages, so many details. You know, but then it's so easy to focus on the relevant case note. That is step three. Now, good. I'll just show you those sentences. You can see the simple sentences which I copied together. Can you see the yes, screen? Father. Microsoft Word. Yes, it's mother, yeah, mother. without without any highlights, only simple yes, sentences. Yes, Those yes. simple sentences, what you wrote, actually I have typed with the black background, which she was someone else formerly was reading now. Same thing is copied together so that you can paste it in the grammarly. I'm not going into grammarly now. You do not require this heading, side headings. For your information, I just kept it. You can just copy all these simple sentences. You see, we have to transform the relevant case notes into 41 simple sentences. 41 simple sentences. Now you have to copy these simple sentences into Grammarly for correction, which I am not doing now. So you, and you know how to correct it. Already the video is uploaded. You can find out how to correct. And see that you do it at every step. Okay, once you write on the case note, as you go on reading, you write in the space of the case note. Then you try to 
write them together in a sheet of paper. Then you know how to Google convert. Again, you have a video guiding you for that, how to make it uh, type the text. Uh, using the Google Convert. Now, now, what is the next step? Simple, simple, into, simple, simple, yeah. 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 simple yeah. sentences into, into compound sentences. Yes. Yes. yes, father. yes father. Okay. okay, now you see, I, you need not take all the sentences because the name and all those things you need not combine. So introductory paragraph I have not taken. Just to show you, I have taken 6th, 7th and 8th. These three things you can combine together. Mr. Shailas is a 62 year old widow and a retired school teacher. Never write years old when you write it in with iPhone, okay? It is 62 year old. That is a single word, 62 year old. There is no space between 62 and iPhone or iPhone and year. There are no spaces in between at all, okay? When you write, there is no much issue regarding that. So these three sentences, Mr. Ms. Patricia Silas is 62 years old. Mr. Patricia Silas is a retired primary school teacher. Mr. Patricia Silas is a widow is combined into one compound sentence. Mr. Silas is a 62-year-old widow and a retired school teacher. Next, you see, 10, 11, and 12 together. We have framed it to, can somebody read the sentences and the compound sentence? Ms. Patricia Stiles has hypertension. Uh, she is prescribed Quinapril oral 40 mg twice daily. And she is hypertension. Her hypertension is well managed. Compound sentence. Miss Styles yeah. has hypertension, which is managed with Kunapril 40 mg twice daily. See, these three sentences, simple sentences, are transformed or converted into a compound sentence. This is yes. how you have to write in the letter. You cannot write these simple sentences continuously. You may not score good. You have to write, you have to include both simple sentence, compound sentence, and at least two or three. Complex sentences. 13. Miss Patricia, Patricia Stiles had, has diabetes mellitus type 2. Miss Patricia Stiles' diabetes is well managed. Miss Patricia Stiles is prescribed metformin, diabetes, oral 500 mg twice daily. Miss Patricia Stiles is prescribed gly glyclaslide, APO glyclaslide, MR, oral 30 mg daily. Now, there are four simple sentences which I have uh, transformed into one single compound sentence. Four simple sentences, four aspects uh, combined into one simple uh, compound sentence. Yeah, please read, compound sentence. Miss Childs has type 2 diabetes is managed with metformin, diabetes, diabetes 500 mg toys a day, and glycoside, APO glycoside MR, 30 mg daily. Okay, here you are, we are missing one word you have to add, which is managed, okay? Now you see, 16, 17, 18. Three sentences into one simple compound sentence. You can write down this or you can take the screenshot. Then you have to uh, strike out. You see, Mr. Patricia Tyler's, all these repetitions are eliminated. Only once it is written. How a compound sentence is constructed. Strike out all immaterial things. That's how we gain competency. Yeah, please read 16, 17, 18 and the compound sentence. Miss Patricia Stiles has depression. Her depression is managed with regular regular counseling. With the two sentences, we have one sentence. I want to convince you so that you do the same. That's why I have taken so much time. Okay, it's not that easy to bring in all these packets. Everything takes time. Cool. Throat swab oh. investigation confirm viral influenza type B. An echocardiogram indicated pericarditis. Miss Stiles was diagnosed with the viral influenza type, type B plus pericarditis. So compound sentences, throat swab investigation confirm viral influenza type B and an echocardiogram indicated pericarditis. Okay, last one. Her chest x-ray was normal. Miss Stiles was treated with IV saline infusion and ibuprofen. Her chest x-ray was normal and Miss Stiles was treated with IV saline infusion and ibuprofen. So that is clear, right? How to transform the simple sentences into compound Compl sentences. That is the next yes. step. Already we have taken these steps and we have explained it. So if you need further clarification, definitely you can go into the recordings. Step four, right? To transform case note into complex sentences. Yes, father. Yes, father. Okay. Yes. So I'm asking you and confirming because I am changing the screen every now and then since I am showing different documents. 
So you don't require so many com complex sentences. You can just find what can be connected. Can somebody read? She requires urgent assessment and investigation due to a suspected recurrence of pericarditis. Yeah, there is a uh, sentence that is from the introduction and writing task. But uh, we will show you how to convert the uh, simple sentence or compound sentence into complex. Yeah, please read up 18 and 19. Miss Stiles in, uh, visited her sister sister in Green Valley on 23rd August. Miss uh, Siles became unwell on 23rd August. Miss Siles became unwell on 23rd August while visiting her sister in Green Valley. Uh, Miss uh, Siles first reported being unwell on one week ago while visiting her sister in Green Valley. Now, you know, now this sentence, there are two ways I have shown here how to write. Mr. Silas became unwell on 23rd August while visiting her sister in Green Valley, which is that independent clause and which is the dependent clause. Which is the dependent clause? Dependent while visiting her sister in Green Valley is okay. dependent clause. Yeah. Dependent, dependent clause. clause. And the first clause is the independent clause. Okay. So once okay. you write the independent clause first, you need not put a comma. But if you are writing a dependent clause, after that you have to mention a comma followed okay. by independent clause. Now 27. Okay. Miss Stiles report feeling chest pain relieved by sitting arm, shortness of breath, and fatigue. Miss Stiles complained of chest pain, which was relieved by when in a sitting position, as well as shortness of breath and fatigue. It would be greatly appreciated if you could take, take over Miss Stiles' care and management as you think appropriate. If it could be greatly appreciate if you and if you what starts from if you is dependent clause definitely you require two or three maximum that's not a big issue we will be showing you in the upcoming days I am showing all these steps so that you try to do this and after every step you know you have to paste these things into Grammarly Grammarly will exactly tell you if there is a mistake if you have to put a comma if you have missed an article if you have made a mistake in the construction the Grammarly will clearly show you. Then going to sixth step. This is the most important step. You should be very thorough with. Do you have some stamina to go on? Yes, yes, father. yes father. Yes, father. Okay. If you are father. exhausted, I can stop and continue with the next session. Yes, no, father. We can continue. So can you see my colorful word document again? Yes, father. Yes, father. Yes, father. Now you see, we are thinking of how to construct the paragraph. We will come back to other details. Now how to order the paragraph. I'll have, I have PPTs. I will show you. Now here you see you need the introductory paragraph, first para. So that means introdu introduction plus name plus age plus status plus request. You have the Airavata, if you remember. That's another way of saying, but we are, not, we are not taking it now. Already we have explained in that way. We have all these aspects here. Thank you for seeing. You can use different expressions, okay? They do not copy the same thing, but I'll show you different uh, ways of uh, putting the introduction. Thank you for seeing his introduction. Mr. Silas is the name. A 62-year-old widow. Okay, after Silas, there is a comma because and a retired school teacher. That is a subject complement. Okay, many of your letters miss that comma. After teacher, there is no comma. Or after, uh, say, a 62-year-old widow, there is no comma. There should be comma because that is subject complement. Mr. Silas is the name, age, a 62-year-old widow. Uh, so, uh, status is widow and a retired school teacher who requires your urgent investigation of a relapse of pericarditis. Or also you can write investigation of a suspected relapse of pericarditis. You can change the patterns. But these aspects should be included in your introduction. If you just write who requires, most of you make this mistake. Who requires your urgent investigation and management? Of what? That's very, very important. Of what? In, uh, urgent uh, my investigation or uh, management of what is very important. Most of you stop saying that. It you requires your urgent investigation and management or whatever. You stop with that. No, that's not perfect. You should say what is the main issue. Main issue is a must. Otherwise, your introductory paragraph will be auto journey. If you miss one more item, you'll be traveling by cycle. So you can decide whether you want to travel by Airavata, Deluxe bus or auto or now here you see medical history. I have put outdated information. Since it is managed well, you need to mention just the conditions and the medications. Rest of the details, when it was diagnosed and 
what was uh, reading and all those things are irrelevant they are called outdated information but then you will have to mention what is highlighted the conditions main conditions you will have to mention okay after that all this becomes family history lifestyle all this becomes uh, irrelevant we are writing to a uh, emergency department now medications the medications we have seen it fourth para medications will come in fourth para now you see see from the case note how you can transform see here we have mr tyler says hypertension the simple sentence then you have to put a comma and diabetes is here see diabetes diabetes type 2 okay you see these things so how we can develop into a paragraph i am showing you live on the uh, with the case notes see now here mr tyler says hypertension you have the tense the second condition diabetes mellitus type 2 you have to just put a comma after that you add diabetes type 2 then you have to add and that's compound sentence already you have made just add and since there are three items you mentioned two items then add and then managed with before giving the medications just add managed with can april all those details since you have again three items after second item you have to put and and mention the third item so mr tyler says hypertension di uh, diabetes type 2 or normally i don't know type 2 diabetes is the way we need to write i believe but in uh, medical profession they do mention diabetes type 2 you can take any choice but i stand for type 2 diabetes and depression managed with canapril or whatever this they are uh, meant for me and like a side uh, 30 mg daily see same thing just mentioning uh, adding the name and the word has then conjunctions managed with whatever the case note when you have medical condition and the medications mentioned you can adopt this way easily you can make a beautiful sentence you can also put them into different sentences for example you know uh, this is for hypertension actually this one right in april you can mention yes. one as one sentence uh, uh, hypertension is well managed with in april uh, april 40 mg twice daily you can put a full stop then these two are of diabetes type 2 right metformin and yes, like say aside yeah so you can mention she has also type 2 diabetes which is well managed with metformin dash 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 and glycoside you can make two sentences as well there is no issue okay then if you want to add you can add one simple sentence saying that her depression is managed with regular counseling another simple sentence so that is the fourth paragraph i'll tell you the order of paragraph hope this is clear to you right so the case note here how to combine all these details into and think this when you have a condition mentioned diabetes hypertension depression and medications mentioned under medication try to connect this condition and the concerned medication together now this is about green valley hospital treatment record hospital treatment record when you construct a paragraph ask yourself who what happened when it happened what in what context or occasion it happened that is third para that is background patient history treatment record then you ask who who was treated treatment record right who was treated what happened to him when he was treated on what context or occasion he was treated and what were the vital signs ask these questions to the treatment record then you have a beautiful paragraph with the answers so you know who was treated stylus visiting her sister in the context of vis visiting her sister in green valley and admitted to green valley hospital with fever pleuritic chest pain general weakness and malaise tachycardia all those details okay admitted then you have vital signs throat swab x-ray chest x-ray echocardiogram then you have management then you have evaluation then follow-up was arranged so you see here what you have to do you have to just add the name in the beginning mr silas became unwell on which date when the question when it happened on which date 23rd august 2019 when context what was the context while visiting her sister in green valley she was admitted to green valley hospital with fever pleuritic chest pain pleuritic chest pain tachycardia and general malaise so exactly in the order of the case notes i am constructing sentences and showing you and then you have the vital signs investigations throat swab investigations confirmed vital influenza type b and an echocardiogram indicated pericarditis indicated pericarditis her chest x ray was normal and see that simple sentence connected with and mr ellis was managed with ibisalen and ibuprofen 
she was discharged home on 25th August. A nurse home visit was arranged for today. So this is all put together. We have the sentence uh, paragraph here. Can somebody read this paragraph, Mr. Stylus? Miss Stylus became unwell on 23rd August while visiting her sister in Green Valley. She was admitted to Green Valley Hospital with fever, pleuritic chest pain, tachycardia, and general malaise. Throats of investigations confirmed influenza type B and an echocardiogram indicated pericarditis. Her chest x-ray was normal and Miss Stiles was managed with IV saline and ibuprofen. She was discharged home on 25th August. A nurse home visit was arranged for today. Uh, see, uh, the sequence I have given, the patient is unwell, patient was admitted, there was diagnosis or investigations, then the results, then the medication, then the discharge, then the follow-up. See, this is how we have to visualize. The whole case note, you have to visualize in this way. That's why I said you have to speak out or write the story of the patient. Ask yourself with your learning partner, who was unwell? And what was the next step? So she was admitted. And what were the investigation carried on? Tick, tick, tick. And what were the results? What were the medications? When was she discharged? Was there any follow-up suggested or recommended? Do you get me? This way you have to visualize and write down these arrow marks. Why I have taken so much time and showing you this again? Because you have to do this when you write your paragraph. Then you clearly know, and you as a health professional, especially you nurses, you can definitely follow this sequence, right? So try to write this paragraph in this way. So here, like X-ray was normal and Mr. Silas, you can even avoid that name, okay? Or you can use pronoun. You can change this. Is, uh, don't use any template. Write in your own way. That's why you have to develop your competency. If you have this cohesion, this uh, visualization in your mind, step by step, See, when somebody is un unwell, normally they visit the hospital, right? Then they may get admitted. Then definitely next step is blood test and x-ray and this test and that test, you know. Suddenly tests will follow. Then you'll be concerned about the test results. Then some medications will be prescribed. Then, okay, you are normal now, almost coming to normalcy, you will be discharged. On discharge, you will be say, you will be told you have to come back and visit the doctor or nurse will come and visit you. All those things. In the Indian context, you may not have the home visit of the nurse. Normally, you'll be asked to come to the hospital. But in your context where we are moving to in the European countries, they have home visits as a follow-up thing. Is that clear? Yes, so Father. Be so yes, beautiful Father. it is. So beautiful it is if you can visualize. So beautiful the paragraphs are. Okay, now again, we are coming to nurse home visit, which happened today. How do you know it is today? I, is I have written here today. Sure. Date yeah, date mentioned date in date the date. very beginning of the case note. You see, assume that today's date is 30th August 2019. And here home visit is happening on 30th August 2019. So you instead of that date, you can write today. Because you are reporting, so you'll have to use present tense. Okay. Because today you visited and you are explaining what happened today. See, this is the case note. Already we have highlighted. We have seen that. And how to write that? See, today, instead of this date, I have written today, comma, that is, we call introductory phrase. My, uh, Mr. Stiles reports chest pain. See, same thing. She reports chest pain, relieved by sitting up, shortness of breath, and, and is not there before fatigue. Since this is a list, you add and, the conjunction. That is one sentence. Now, again, you have this low-grade fever and all those things given relevant. So she has, definitely, you know, you have to mention who has it. She has, since it is happening today, you said she has, not she had, low-grade fever and all those details in bracket, tachypnea, bracket, and you have to add, and there, since it is a list again, tachycardia, then full stop. Her blood pressure is 195 on 78, lower than her usual, 140 on 90. This is very, very important, okay? This has to be, though it is given in bracket, that has to be transformed and that has to be intimated because our normally as you for health professionals you know blood pressure will uh, vary from person to person that you have that means something so it's no it is much lower than the usual bp that has to be those are the complaints put into mm -hmm. one paragraph 
please somebody read this today miss styles reports just pain relief by sitting up shortness of breath and fatigue she has low grade fever 38.1 centigrade tachypnea 28 beats per minute and tachycardia 115 beats per minute her blood pressure is 195 by 78 lower than her usual 140 ഉണ്ടോ <laughs> See, then I added one conjunction and made a compound sentence. But she has a low-grade fever. You know, again, there is a list. So I have added this and again. One more. And here. That's all we need to add. Things are already there. Then tachycardia. Then her blood pressure. I just said here it is only BP is mentioned. But I said her blood pressure. Her blood pressure. That instead of BP, I said blood pressure. Her. That the subject is added. That's all. Is... then lower than this one that's all when i put them together connected all these things that's a beautiful paragraph that's not big issue to create a paragraph out of the relevant case notes but here, uh, our problem most of our oit aspirants problem is like uh, you just want to immediately go right flight ticket is ready and uh, the exam date is ready so i have to somehow rather write some exam uh, write uh, some letters and go okay cool now here you see organize urgent hospital transfer to newtown hospital nearest hospital right referral to emergency department include relevant medications patient history test results or observations they have clearly told you what is to be included but they have given a ulta order to confuse you that's the trick they play actually this is a, to emergency department so immediate today's information should come in the first paragraph then the previous when the patient was admitted in the hospital that could should come next paragraph all the medical history and medication should come the third paragraph or third body paragraph so what happens test results observations of today when the nurse visit happen that is para 2 patient history in the hospital treatment record is para 3 and medications that is para 4 and what is para 1 purpose paragraph para 5 request for which you have details in the patient details and in the writing task is that clear yes sir okay yeah now you have your assessment here i suspect a relapse of pericarditis perhaps with complications maybe not sure perhaps with complications i refer to you for uh, urgent assessment and management see same thing what you wrote in introductory paragraph put in different way in the request and recommendation that is being presented in a different way yours faithfully no so raised or nurse whatever hope that is clear to you right yes father yes father some people will be thinking why this man is mad taking so much time for a letter right i will show you one more right. step at least some people will follow me so i will show you one more step see this is how the medical history and medications you have heard of this bar now you see you have heard of this bar is bar i s b a r i means introductory paragraph or i introduce and identify b means background c mean, uh, s means situation situation, situation. situation. a means situation. assessment and r situation. means request yes. c writing paragraph c here as per the case i am just going by the order of the case note okay in the order of the case note soon after patient details identify and introduce patient details you have medical history and medications which has to come in the last see when you have a letter to the emergency department you have to start from the end okay home visit today that is the first then uh, what happened during the previous hospitalization treatment record that is second paragraph or the third paragraph if we include introductory paragraph then medication and medical history and medications fourth paragraph so you have this background medication and medical history even green valley hospital treatment record belongs to the background then you have all the vital signs assessment means what you feel about it that is the assessment where you have to read from all the investigations results diagnosis you have to assess and say your assessment then you have the situation see patient visit today that is a situation is bar 
So you have the assessment that Mr. Patricia Salas is suspected of having a relapse of pericarditis with complications. That's it. You know, these complex sentence here, one complex sentence. Here, compound sentence, here, compound sentence, here, complex sentence, complex sentence, here, compound sentence, here, compound sentence. Okay, just showing you how the case note, when it is converted into paragraphs, looks like. We have not ordered the paragraph. We are just constructing paragraphs as per the order in the case note. Hope you have some more stamina, right? Yeah. Yes, father. Yes. Yes, father. Yes, father. Yes, father. Yes, father. Yes, father. Yes. If you want me to stop, I will stop. Okay. No, I'm no, showing no, the framework. No, introduction. No, father. See, intro yeah, introduction, address those details. I am not explaining because that is clearly explained. And in this 21 step sequence, I will add those videos as well with the step number. Okay. As you have seen, writing number one, two in the circles. Emergency department, you know, all these details I am not going to read out. You can just read the introductory paragraph, please. Thank, Thank you for seeing Miss Styles. Yes. 62-year-old widow and retired school teacher who requires your urgent investigation of a possible relapse of pericarditis. Yes, possible. Perhaps all these are opinion words, right? Yes. Who requires your urgent investigation? Don't stop there. You have to say of what. Now you see how to analyze this analysis of this introduction. Provides relevant information, including this one I am saying, introductory paragraph, introductory phrase. Thank you for saying, Mr. Stylus. Then age, gender, and marital status. You have age, 62-year-old, gender, widow, it says gender, and uh, status. Maybe marital status or social status you can include. There is also social status and retired school teacher. Reason for writing. Who requires your urgent investigation uh, of a possible relapse of pericarditis? That is, chief complaint is pericarditis. You require all these four wheels for your introduction. Then only you have a Airavata journey or Vande Bharat journey. Okay. You can add more, but no problem. Here you should have these four aspects. I'll show you one more type of introduction. You want to see some other way of writing your this one? Introductions? Yes, Just father. Take, yes, father. Glance, yeah, glance over and go. I said flexibility is important here. Don't try to. Earlier we are saying thank you for seeing. Now just read this. I am writing to refer this time. A 62-year-old widow who requires an urgent assessment and investigation due to a suspected recurrence of pericarditis. Provides relevant information, including who are you, uh, age, gender, marital status, reason for writing, chief complaint, and degree of urgency, if there is, you can mention it. Otherwise, at least there, you must say who is the patient, age, gender, and marital status, if need be social status, and why are you writing, and what is the chief issue. Same thing, Airavata. See here, one more. Yeah, just read this one. Another way of I, writing. I am, I am a nurse, nurse providing home visit to, uh, to Miss Styles, a 62 years old widow and a retired school teacher. She is required urgent assessment and investigation due to a suspected relapse of pericarditis. Yeah, that's another way of writing. Who are you? Who is the nurse? I am a nurse providing home visits to Mr. Styles. Age, gender, and marital status of the patient. Then reason for writing, why are you writing? What is the chief complaint? If there is a degree of urgency, she requires urgent assessment or she could require assessment and investigation. Since it is emergency, you can put urgent if need be. Otherwise, at least these four wheels should be there to have a DLS journey. I'm just showing you there are different ways of writing. You can use your own way. Don't worry. Don't copy anything. Put your own way. Definitely, they'll be happy. The same uh, this one gives these informations. Okay. Who are you? Uh, I am a nurse providing home visits and a gender of the patient, a 62-year-old widow and retired school teacher. Reason for writing, who requires urgent assessment and investigations, chief complaints, a suspected recurrence of pericarditis and degree of urgency. We have mentioned urgent assessment investigation is required. At least these three, four aspects must be there in your introduction. Then only definitely if you have those four things, you will be able to uh, score three out of three. Who is the patient? You have to mention, okay? The Patricia Silas. Here you have additional one thing. You are saying who are you is the additional thing. Who is the patient? At least these four things must be there. Who is the patient and a gender status? Who requires what reason for writing? And chief complaint. This what is said four wheels must but you can definitely start with saying I am a nurse providing home visits. Then you can write all these things. And urgency, if mentioned urgency, you can mention the urgency as well. 
So one, two, three, four, five, six aspects. But the second, third, fourth, fifth, these are very, very essential. You should not miss this. If you miss one of them, instead of Hairavata, you will travel by auto or by cycle. This uh, second para, just look into this, state the problem. Paragraph two, today what happened? First thing is today at uh, home nurse visit. Yes, paragraph, paragraph two means soon after the introductory paragraph. Today, today Mrs. Sir. Report chest pain, relieved by sitting up, shortness of breath and fatigue. She has low, has a low grade fever, 38.1 degree Celsius. Tachypnea 28 beats per minute and tachycardia 115 beats per minute. Her blood pressure is 125 by 78, lower than her usual 140 by 90. Okay, that's again typing mistake. See, state the problem. What is the analysis of this paragraph? When it happened? Today. What happened? Mr. Talis reports chest pain, relieved by shortness of breath and fatigue. That's what happened. And most recent vital signs. She has a low-grade fever, tachypnea, and tachycardia, all those most vital signs. Observations. Her blood pressure is lower than the normal. That's your observation. See, the paragraph has a structure. And this is very, very important, this observation. Sometimes you just mention her blood pressure is so and so, 125, 178. No, you have to mention it is lower than her usual 140 by on 90. That's very important. Then only you clear, get a clear picture of her situation, right? So that is very, very important. Now, state the problem when today I'm selling the same assessment I'm showing you. What happened? Mr. Tyler's report says pain relieved by sitting up, shortness of breath and fatigue. And most recent vital signs, one, two, three, four. And observation, lower than her usual BP, 195, no, 125. On 78. Okay, that is a typing mistake again. That will be repeated because I'm I, I copied the same. Okay, paragraph three. Hope you are following me, right? I'm yes, just father. giving you an yes, idea. Father. Every, yes, father. Yeah, yes, father. every yes. paragraph should have a structure. And when you send me for corrections, you have to send me this structure as well. That's the real learning. Write your paragraph like this and put a margin and write the structure on the uh, right side. Now state what you have done so far based on your findings. You see, symptoms investigations, relevant results, then treatment and discharge. What have you done? Symptoms, investigations, relevant results, treatment, discharge. A hospital with fever, those are the symptoms of downtown. Then you have in investigations, then you have results, then you have uh, medication treatment, IV saline and ibuprofen, and discharge. I'll show you that follow-up, beautifully done. Okay, now paragraph four. I think you do not read, right? You have in your mind. Information related to the patient. Relevant past medical history, medications. Relevant social information if required. Relevant past medical history and medications and relevant social information is semi-relevant. You can add if you need word count. If you don't need, you need not add. So somebody can just read this. How to, if at all you need to include the semi-relevant social information, you can understand from here. Mr. Styles, Styles had hypertension, diabetes, type 2, and depression managed with quinapril, acupril, 40 milligram twice daily, metformin, diabetes, 500 milligram twice a day, and clicoside, APO, clicoside, MR, 30 mg per daily. Means uh, that paragraph includes medica medical history and medications. And the conclusion, just read. I suspect a relapse of pericarditis, perhaps with complications. I refer her to you for urgent assessment and management. Yeah. So what do you this is nurse. okay for registered nurse? What do you want the next health professional to do? It includes you are info you are informing them what is your assessment, right? You said yes. suspected suspected relapse of uh, pericarditis, maybe with complications. So that is your assessment. Is bar a assessment? So be clear in that. What is supposed to be done must be very clear. What do you want the next health professional to do? Writing paragraph, organization and layout. That is one of the fifth criteria, assessment criteria, if you remember. That also I have explained in the previous session. Chronology, uh, how to write paragraph or organize the paragraph chronologically or thematically. Writing paragraph, organization and layout, fifth criterion. Group information together into paragraphs. Already you have the informations in a simple sentence, compound sentence, and complex sentence. Now you have to group, the, group them, put them together into a cohesive paragraph. So chronologically, one para discusses one time frame. One paragraph discusses today what one happened. Time. One time frame. 
next one previous when they were admitted that time frame is discussed by another paragraph and thematically one para discusses one theme one issue one concept do you get me so these are the different two ways you can choose any way whichever is comfortable for you chronologically one para discusses one uh, time frame see patricia chiles is the patient reader is doctor paragraph one today mr chiles reports feeling chest pain tak 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 all those things see today is the time frame today is the time frame paragraph 2 instead of today it can mention one date okay 30th august 2019 whatever so there is a time frame mr chiles became unwell on 30 23rd august see another time frame next paragraph speaks about what happened 23rd august today means 30th august so one time frame in the paragraph 1 another time frame in paragraph 2 so paragraph 3 medical history and medications what happened earlier since it is not relevant outdated information you need not mention the dates because they are mentioning about diabetes chronic conditions so you don't require but then it's also a time frame that is the oldest information given in this particular case note do you get me yes father See, to, oh, today's no, case no, yeah today's case note uh, chronology is this today nurse home visit and what happened earlier in on 23rd august she was admitted to green valley hospital and what happened there another paragraph even before that what are the conditions the patient is affected with and what are the medical history and medications that is the oldest information given that is the next paragraph so yes. in the emergency department when you write to the emergency department most recent information is crucial and that has to be followed or uh, just next to the introductory paragraph so the very second paragraph should have the most recent information then you go back as i have said you are going to read the case note reverse in the emergency case or emergency department referral letters now writing paragraph organization laid out a group information together thematically thematically means one para discusses one thing for example peter dunbar you have seen reader is doctor paragraph 1 since october 2018 comma that is introductory phrase Mr. Dunbar has shown signs of diabetic neuropathy and has not been compliant with various medication regimen. Now you see, we say thematically, but then the date is mentioned here. It's no issue, but then you are not giving prominence to date. The controlling idea, if you remember, controlling idea is diabetic neuropathy. The theme dealt in this paragraph is diabetic neuropathy, and the, the paragraph will explain only about diabetic neuropathy, investigations, results, medications, compliance, management, all those things. paragraph 2 yes, paragraph 2 speaks about another theme another issue myocardial infarction that paragraph will develop only those aspects its medication management uh, sites all those things in the order so this is called thematic development of the paragraph you can choose any one which is which is clear for you so when you read the case note try to identify these themes or issues and the dates this is how if you want to write another paragraph peter dunbar we have seen all these things you see how beautifully i it's not for learning okay diagnosis diabetic neuropathy i am showing the structure of a uh, paragraph and uh, treatment metformin and di di diet assessment resistant to treatment and evidence for resident not compliant with medication double doses evidence to and not compliant with the diet consume excessive amounts of alcohol fatty foods salt and sugar management now next daughter will be cooking for him and daughter needs guidance see beautiful paragraph keeping this in mind could you just read this paragraph and see this structure in the paragraph okay we'll go to that paragraph and finish yes i'm showing another case note paragraph structure how to frame paragraph please read since october 2018 mr dunbar has shown signs of diabetic neuropathy and consequently mobilizes with the walking stick his type 2 diabetes is controlled by metformin and a throw his diet however he remains resistant to any form of treatment and has not been compliant with his medication regimen reporting poor memory has the primary cause of his neglect on occasion he also double doses contrary to advice mr dunbar has continued to consume excessive amount of alcohol fatty foods salt and sugar since the death of his wife last year contributing to his current situation while his daughter will now be cooking for him she will require some guidance related to his needs now you see the structure of this paragraph diagnosis 
I said diabetic neuropathy was mentioned. Then we said, what is the, what was the treatment? Metformin and diet assessment. What was the assessment? Resistant to treatment means your assessment. Then when you say resistant to treatment, you have to give evidence. What is the resistance? First one is not compliant with medication, sometimes double doses. Uh, then evidence two, not compliant with the diet, consumes excessive amounts of alcohol, fatty food, salt, and sugar. Management, now daughter will be cooking for him. Next, daughter needs guidance. What is now and what is next? This is the structure of the paragraph. Every paragraph has a flow. This is called cohesion, and that's one of the uh, assessment criteria. You'll be scoring on this. Instead of that, if you write the last sentence first, uh, third sentence first, second sentence next, everything you'll have. Maybe every aspect, every information you have given in the paragraph, but you will score very less because there is no logical development of the paragraph. This is how I show the development. The diabetic neuropathy in the topic sentence, that is a controlling idea. That is thematic paragraph. I told you, thematic paragraph based on an issue. Then what was the medication? You know, Then the resistance. How did he resist? regarding the medication and diet. Then what will happen next? What is to be done? Daughter will be cooking for him. Daughter needs guidance. So beautifully done. What a beautiful thing. Hmm? I don't want it to take it so long, but then, you know, these are connected steps. If you don't go at one go, you may not remember. Come on now. Somebody wanted to ask me something. Yes, father. Thank you. The oh. session was wonderful. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I want to clear one doubt, father. Uh, yes, actually, yeah. uh, in uh, later writing, uh, they used to tell uh, we have to add socio-economic history in third para, I think, uh, before, uh, me after okay. medical history. Is it like that? You can't say third para is this or that. It's, uh, just after medical history uh, or if home visit is there, we have to add the socio-economic history. Is it mandatory? Because uh, no, 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 no. You are asking me in the order of the paragraph, which cannot be. That's why I said you need competency to decide. Now today, this is to emergency department. What is the order? Is bar introduce Isbar. and identify. That is introductory paragraph. Then mm -hmm. situation, present situation. Today, what happened when I visited the patient? Nurse yes. is reporting. Mm -hmm. I S. You can write down in your paper. In yes. Introduce, identify. Then S situation today. Then situation. background. Background means she was discharged on uh, 23rd. She was admitted yes. on 23rd and one week, she, a couple of days she was in the hospital. That is the background. And yes. on that, at that background, they suggested there should be a home visit today. Mm -hmm. As per that recommendation, I have visited today. So the background is this. When you mention the background, you will also have to mention if they have some uh, chronic conditions which affects their present situation. So, okay. you know, background also includes the previous admission to the hospital, treatment details, all those details, as I said, oh. uh, admission, then you have the medication management, all those things. Then the previous medica medical history and the mm -hmm. medications, very relevant oh. and important ones. Then you have your re uh, assessment. 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 Yeah. What do you suspect? Yes. What is being suspected by you? That is your right. assessment. A. It's bar. A. B. A. Yeah. Then your request which includes recommendation or request or information, whatever. Then you sign off. So okay. this is the order for emergency letters. And uh, one yes. more query is, can I ask? Yeah, please. Huh. Greatly appreciated if you could uh, provide this. So we can use greatly word because in uh, no, one not video... Greatly. No, no, we don't suggest greatly. Greatly ah, is okay. not a good word. Greatly, greatly is not a very good word. Okay, right. Okay, thank you. So not only a, we should write... No, it could it's be not wrong, but I I don't it is not wrong, but I don't uh, I don't recommend because greatly appreciate. Once you appreciate, it is very great. Greatly, yeah, right. You know <laughs> that includes great. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, appreciation includes great. Yes. And so, instead of saying instead of saying I love you, I love you so much. That so <laughs> much is not required. Required. Okay. Right. Yes. <laughs> yes. Thank yes. you, yeah, Father. Exactly that. Yeah. Exactly that. Okay. Sense. Yeah. Yes. Thank you very much, Father. Welcome, most welcome. And hope all are doing good and enjoying your studies, right? Mm -hmm. With smiles. Mm -hmm. Such beautiful mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. I, I see. Sometimes I feel I want to make some uh, couple of uh, slides and I start making. Then it runs like this, you know. The whole night I want to make because so beautiful it is. No, the whole structure, the cellar, the cohesion, the follow up. Uh, beautiful it looks. Whatever the case notes, it's so beautiful. Provided and you your are, teaching you method is also beautiful, Father.
because it's... i have good learners i have good learners like you all yes <laughs> and your Monica teaching was... method is excellent yeah. that's why we thank can you, stay 2 hours and it's uh, it's a criminal ah. criminal offense to take 2 hours but i did not find any oh. solution because this is not a classroom no next time if i keep half of it for the next time many of you may not enter the newcomers will enter Actually. they will not understand anything that's Actually, why i take it continuously yeah thank you very much now always if you have not taken the dates mm-hmm. as i said yesterday never ever take the date before you are competent you decide you are competent then let it go to maybe 15 days more no issue take the dates after you are competent if you are following we will tell you whether you are competent or you yourself can identify your competency competency means definitely more than 34 consistently in 5 to 6 uh, listening and reading materials minimum competency consistently more than 5 results should come above 34 then our oh, competency also depends on your confidence even if you are competent i tell you more than half of uh, 50% of the students lose their score because when they are go when they reach the examination center they are really frightened shivering they can't hear they can because their mind is not cool that's why you have to get involved in the aspects okay and happily we will be introducing our own application maybe from the new batches which are beginning tomorrow day after tomorrow we will be beginning around five batches new batches so we will go maybe with our own application had to finalize it the you know, they are working on it father so yeah please father i have one doubt the yes. age and the mandatory statistics is mandatory to write in introduction paragraph now it is an emergency thing it is not mandatory you need not write a separate paragraph for your social history and other things it's not required so maybe in a clause you can include in the introduction if need be even if you don't include that is not must whatever is between comma is not very essential okay even if you write so and so and what is the chief complaint in what context what he requires four aspects that's cool additional two aspects is extra even if you write you will not be penalized even if you don't write you will not be penalized but you are giving some additional information to the reader whatever is given between commas are optional because when i i never write the letter so in hmm. first paragraph i just write the uh, argent miss Uh, Ms. Patricia says, "With her urgent assessment and management at your service, she is suspected to have lots of complications of pericarditis." Then, oh, it's cool. It's cool. See, that's what I think. What I have written is one of the ways to write. Even the sample letters are one of the ways to write. You can write in different ways, and they are assessing your competency. You can write in your own words. What you have written is perfectly all right. That's what I said. Introduction can be written in one sentence, one complex sentence. it can be written with one uh, compound sentence and one is simple sentence or it can be written in three sentences don't copy anything write your own paragraphs and a um, uh, good number of people who have submitted the letter i have just gone to most of them are very good letters hope you have written by yourself okay and now uh, and i want all of you to join and support the platform at least a couple of minutes every day so that we take away take on and you can learn better those who are interested okay, can contact me i need some people to work with me my angels and uh, we as uh, as i said we will be introducing a new application of o edu skills own application now as till now we are on a rented application every month we have to pay the rent now we will be, we will be getting into our own application which has its own advantage for example the present thing you it is it uh, supports only mcqs your a part is not supported the new one you have all the options where you can write your mock test everything can be uploaded and you will get uh, automatic grades as per the assessment the application itself is capable of doing the apply, uh, assessment with artificial intelligence and that will give you the exact score and assessment and tell you what is your problem that will assist the teachers as well after yeah. approval we will get on our main yeah, plan maybe maybe we will within 2 3 days we will get it all right already we, we will be working on it today admins and uh, those interested angels will have a training program by our tech team you know this all yes, supported by different people you know otherwise if you are going to pay this app will cost minimum 17 lakhs yes father okay from our side but whatever then, help but, we can we will do but we are thinking because uh, <laughs> it's a, it's very expensive to pay the rent every every month so that will help us better it will be easier even admins will have less burden once you upload you know as you give the batch code they will they can access all the mock tests 
and the results, everything will be available. If you are interested, soon after this session, you can send me on WhatsApp because you know thousands of messages come. If you want to join me at least five minutes a day, means maybe half an hour in a week, you can just personally text me. We will uh, definitely that will be complimentary to your learning process. But then you will be working with me personally. So message me on my WhatsApp okay. uh, within uh, within within thirty minutes so that I need your search. Okay. Yeah, whoever sure. is interested yeah whoever is interested i'll call them for a meeting then we'll discuss the things and if you are interested we'll also make you join in the tech team meeting so you know what is to be done smile no smiles uh -huh. do you feel exhausted doing this work you know i actually i don't wanted to do anything i just wanted to highlight and show you how the paragraph is to be done but as soon as i saw the uh, i did the first step i thought let me just show them how to do compound sentence then i thought let me show them how to do the complex sentence then I thought, let me do show them how to uh, construct a paragraph from case notes. Then I thought, let me show them the sequence or the structure, cohesion in a paragraph. So it goes on. You can't even stop. As somebody said the other day in Bangalore, someone told me, uh, I'm really addicted to OET. I can't get up from the stable. I can't leave that material. I just, I enjoy doing it. After your exams, we will take, uh, conduct some de-addiction program. Father, Others will excuse. Blood pressure, blood pressure, we will present it to you, Father. We will say that 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 we will say a nurse visit the planning is a father in the medical is a nurse visit or lopum is an other some medical issue of the barn. You can get number of the paranda was never medical issue. I like a hospital admit a planning. Green Valley Hospital record learning loop was for an umbrella in the number in the Yansa Poep in the subway in the present and sell a lamb. Okay, thank you so much for this platform. Yeah, mm -hmm. thank you, Father. Actually, I fell in love with Voiti listening to your, uh, you know, the statement for come fall in love with edgy skills or OET, whatever. See, the first person I heard about fall in love with the subject was my anatomy teacher. Uh, who was Sister Grace, and the second person is you. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much, Father. Thank you. Okay. Most well. Enjoy life. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father.